Hello wonderful students. I have another video that came in the GCE 2024 science paper one. I've got question A1 and A2. Okay, so the first question says the diagram shows a simple pendulum that swings from A to C and back to B in 0 0.75 seconds. So it moves from A to B, again moves from B to C, again it comes back to B. What you need to know that as a bob moves from A to B, it takes half oscillations, as well as it moves from sorry, quarter, quarter oscillations. Even as it moves from here, it makes a quarter oscillation. So a complete movement from this one to this one is half as you add quarter plus quarter. However, okay, now as it moves again back, a movement from C to B alone is still a quarter. So you have a quarter and a half, which will give us what? Three quarters. Okay, that one will give us what? Three quarters of movement. So this is how it, it moves. Such that when it goes back to A, it, it makes it a one complete what? Oscillation. So let's go back to the question. What is the period of the oscillation? Period is given by time taken over a number of complete what? Oscillation. Time taken is this one here. 0 0.75 seconds the number of complete oscillation we just found was through at three quarters so what is three quarters three quarters is just 0 0.75 so we're going to put 0 0.75 here so we divide which will, which will, which will just give us what a period of what 1.0 0 seconds take note that both of the digits they are in they are rounded off to two decimal places. So even our final answer should have two decimal places. That's why we are adding these two zeros there. And therefore your answer here is what? Is C. For, for two, it says a person fell from a transmitter of height uh, 80. So let's say this is a height and this is a ground, right? So the height is 80 meters okay so this is like a person here that's like a person who falls all the way to the what to the ground here calculate the time taken for the person to hit the ground now you need to understand that this is motion due to gravity all right this is what motion due to gravity because the person is falling so there's is falling under the influence of what gravity so which equation of motion are we going to use we are going to use the second equation of motion which allows us to because here we only have distance right so our data here is that we've got distance 80 meters we are looking for time okay gravity we know that is 10 what else so we are looking for the for, for an equation in which we have this and time is there but we are looking for what for time and the velocity we don't have okay so we in as much as the person is falling the person is falling from what initial velocity zero meters per second all right as long as something is falling someone is always falling from something initially so the initial speed is zero so we are going to use the the equation of motion let me use the letter that i have ut plus half gt squared do you recognize this equation it's the second equation of motion s is 80 u is 0 time we don't know because that's what we're looking for half graph is 10 t squared will remain like that so we end up getting 80 here yes is 0 but what is 2 into 10? We get 5 t squared over 5 over 5. So t squared is equal to 16. You find the square root, you find the square root. It's called that t give us positive minus 4. But we can't have negative 4 seconds. You know that, right? So our time will just be what t? 4 seconds. And going back to the multiple choices here, our answer is what t is a. So get yourself a mark there and you get yourself a mark there. And thank you so much for following me in this video. 
and i hope that this video has made sense to you please subscribe also like my facebook page and my tiktok and you can also start my online classes where i advise all the questions with my students and i hope that you can join me